Hello to you beautiful people. My name is Noah Lakshmi and I'm here to elevate humanity for a better world. Thank you so much for joining me on this endeavor. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, and I'm so happy you found my channel. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. And uh, I hope that these videos bring you the value, uh, bring the value into your life that you can implement and um, improve your life. And now in this channel, I use astrology as a tool. It's a tool to help us navigate through this experience that we call life. So I like to say that even if you don't know, <clears throat> excuse me, even if you don't know anything about astrology, um, stick around and you might find something very beneficial with uh, the transmission that I have for you today with this message. And um, if you'd like to know more about me and the world that I, the work that I do in the world, then check out my website, noalakshmi.com. I will talk about that a little bit more at the end of the video. But we are gonna go right into it. Today is Wednesday, the 28th of March. Ha, hello. <laughs> How did that happen? Already finishing the month of March, um, almost there. And um, we are approaching the full moon that is happening on the 31st, and that's a Saturday on the west coast of the United States in North America. So um, 5.37 a.m. Pacific time, 31st. Um, for some of you, it might be on the night on the 31st. For some of you, yeah, actually down under. It's uh, on the 1st of April. So um, these videos that I make is bi-monthly, new moon, full moon, so we are coming into the full moon. And boy, oh boy, uh, March, it hasn't been the easiest, I would say, and um, especially the last couple of weeks from the new moon that we had um, almost two weeks ago, and especially this week, I'm recording this video, like I said, on Wednesday, we're looking at a lot of um, Saturn, Mars, sun aspects um, which can feel quite heavy and difficult and today exactly actually on the 28th there's a couple of things happening at the same time and both are significant um, the sun is squaring Saturn and Venus is conjuncting the planet Uranus now what does it mean in human language so the sun squaring Saturn um, that's the heavy aspect that we can feel um, the hard lessons and the tough decisions. Now the Sun in Aries can be very impulsive, it can be very egoic. Um, I just want instant gratification. You might feel in your life right now burning desires, um, some new identities that have, has, have, have emerged uh, just in this, in this latest cycle and the need or the desire to take action and to move, which is a wonderful thing, but the sun in Aries sometimes can can operate from an egoic place. I want, I'm gonna go for it. I want, I'm gonna say something. There's no filter whatsoever. There's no patient patience with Aries, and the sun is in Aries sometimes can look for just a prize. You know, it's very masculine. I just wanna conquer. <laughs> And Saturn in Capricorn is vastly the opposite, not very different. Maybe not the opposite, but it's very different. It's all about slow and steady wins the game. And if there's this feeling inside of you of like, fuck it, I don't want to be patient, I just want to go for it. This tug of war, this, this, this square between Saturn and, and the Sun can feel like, uh, like there's constriction like you are limited there's there's this heavy energy that is not letting you or can feel that is not letting you to mm, really go for it so the message with all this is right now and I talked about this a couple of weeks ago also the fact that we have mercury and retrograde in Aries is to slow down and to take your time and to cultivate patience this is not the time right now to just want and act because that can lead you to some questionable situations, to some situations that you might regret. 
because Saturn is the hard lessons, but it doesn't have to be hard if we listen. So Saturn in Capricorn really teaches us to take our time to have a plan, feel your desires and the, the impulse to act is a wonderful thing, yet sometimes taking the time to act on the impulses can be just as beneficial, if not even more beneficial, especially right now. So with Venus conjuncting Uranus in the sign of Aries, that can bring about some shocking experiences that are not necessarily the most pleasant. If we move too quickly, if we are too imp impulsive, now Venus in Aries is very impulsive and it, it, it has a, everything to do with connecting with other people, especially with Uranus. It's relationships, it's connecting with other people and with Aries, it can very much be this like fatal attraction Ooh, I want this. I want this person. Let me connect. And then a few weeks later, a few months later, you like, ah, oh, shoots, that was not the right thing. So Saturn in Capricorn is reminding us integrity and the long term, the long term, not just the immediate gratification of I want, I'm going to go for it. Whatever that it is, it can be a person, it can be a, um, a pursuit of some sort, a goal. With, with Saturn and Capricorn is really let yourself take your time with all of your goals and take your time. It's that slow and steady pace climbing up the mountain rather than just sprinting right at the start and then halfway into it, you just don't have any energy left in you so when it comes to any anything right now because the, the potential of meeting people that really spark your fire is definitely is definitely here but it doesn't, doesn't mean that you need to rush it take your time savor the beauty of starting something new whatever that is a relationship a project a connection a, 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 a creative a, endeavor in your life whatever that may be just savor the the beauty of taking your time with it um, don't rush again especially with mercury in retrograde is reevaluating and slowing down um, you can feel this battle with Capricorn with Saturn and Capricorn and the Sun of Aries that there's your identity is really and, and who you are who you feel that you are is in a battle with some of the structures of your life and then also outside the structures of our society when it comes to governments, when it comes to our social rules that you might feel right now, God, I just can't, I wanna break free from that, that those structures Maybe you have a job that you've been doing for 20 years or a relationship that you've been in and all those things, all the structures in your life internally and externally that now are coming to a, 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 a head, coming to a point where you can feel very restricted and very limited by the establishments of your life and our life as a society that don't match who you are and your identity and all the fire that you see in you and the actions maybe that you want to take in your life that again you can feel that sense of limitation but Venus with Uranus meeting today it's breaking free it's really liberating liberating yourself liberate let your desires come out let your um, your values what you really value in your life let that come into life let that be free let that be free, but again, without being impulsive, when I say, oh, let, let your desires come out, that's a wonderful thing, but then we can become an animal, right? And it's just, I'm just going to grab whatever I want because I'm desiring it. So no, that's the balance between knowing integrity, how to operate with integrity while letting yourself be who you are, free to be and free to express yourself. So that's today. My friends, that's today, the 28th, and the buildup this week towards the full moon is so palatable, is so, 
I've been feeling quite intense and the fluctuations between just this, this heaviness and how to really move through it. Um, so on the 31st, on the 30th, um, right before the, new, the full moon, Venus moves into Taurus. So today she's meeting Uranus, reinventing, reinventing yourself. What do you value in life? What it is that you value? Um, what is it that you want to attract into your life that is in accordance with who you are and your identity? What are those burning desires within you? That's all Venus and Aries. So then she moves into Taurus on the 30th, two days from now. And Venus in Taurus, which she, that's her home sign, she's stoked, beautiful. And for us, it means to, okay, what is it that I desire? That's one thing. But then to notice what is, what's worth it. What's worth your time? What's worth your energy? What is really in alignment with your values? And to start valuing quality and uh, definitely quality more than quantity. Venus and Taurus is all about quality. It's the finest of finest. And your relationships, the food that you choose to eat, the activities that you choose to bring into your life, the people that you choose to connect with, everything. According to your values, what is it that I value in my life? And if I value quality, then it requires me to look at, at things in my life and say, well, what is quality? What is enriching my life? Venus and Taurus is, I'm the, I'm the queen here. What is enrich, enriching my life and what is just not? It's not worth it. It's not worth your time. It's not worth your energy. And again, it's in the sign of relationships. You know, it's um, if, if, if a relationships that don't feel like quality relationships anymore, then you're breaking free from that. You're breaking free from that and start and open your life for more quality, for more quality relationships, more quality connections, more quality everything in your life that can really support the long term. Saturn and Capricorn, the long term. Again, it's not the instant gratification, but is it really quality? You might be gratified for five minutes, maybe for a day, but then what about a week from now, a month from now, five years from now, is it really worth it? So that, that's all happening right before the full moon. And the full moon is a culmination. So we had the new moon a couple of weeks ago. And you remember that was very potent, conjuncting Chiron, a lot of letting go, letting go, shedding old identities, death, releasing the old you, the old life, and entering into a new identity, into this new spark, into this new birth, which is Aries. Um, and then this full moon. What are the seeds that you planted two weeks ago? And now it's a culmination, it's an illumination. And this is an intense full moon, okay? It's full moon in Libra. So we're having the moon in Libra again, another relationship aspect. Um, and we're gonna have a T-square. So this full moon, the sun is opposing the moon and squaring Mars and Saturn in Capricorn. So Mars is getting closer to Saturn, which is going to hit Saturn exactly on the first, the day after the full moon. Um, so this is a very active and potent full moon. Full moon is always high energy, but then when you bring into the picture a square, which is a, a tense energy, uh, with Mars and Saturn, and both Mars and Saturn are so strong right now in Capricorn. T-square, it's a motivating urge to take action. It might not feel easy, it might not feel comfortable, but it's a compelling force and an urge to take action. But to take the right action, that's the thing with Mars and Saturn in Capricorn, as I was talking about earlier, integrity. What is the right action? The sun in Aries that, that, that wants the instant gratification, opposing the moon in Libra, which is, well, is it really going to benefit myself and other people? Really considering other people in my life and... Also with Libra, there's the aspect of harmony and beauty. So 
am I going to give into the need or the desire for instant gratification and destroy all harmony and peace and beauty in my life? Is that really the right course of action? Saturn and Mars and Capricorn saying, hello, we're looking at the long term. So what is this battle that you're feeling in your life between a certain identity, a desire, and your ego, really? The ego wants to go a certain way, disregarding, well, what is the most harmonious? What is the most, what is the most beautiful? What is, the one, what is the path that is going to bring me harmony and harmony in my relationships? This full moon is ruled by Venus. And Venus is moving into Taurus a day before the full moon. And again, not a coincidence. So contemplate in your life and bring into your life this, that Venusian energy, which is, again, when Venus and Taurus, what is quality in my life? What is bringing more peace and harmony and what is a complete battle zone and war? What am I going to choose? Am I going to choose the battlefield and the war, Aries, or am I going to choose the harmony and peace, Moon and Libra, that is going to serve the long term and my goals, not just from now until the next hour, but long term in my life? And how other people are playing into that in my life. Of course, that's something you're going to look at. All your relationships in your life. And what is for the long haul. And what are those quality relationships in my life. And remember, again, Venus is influencing all of this. Reminding us the beauty in life. Reminding us the harmony that we can cultivate. And that we can achieve by following our true self, who we are and following the right course of action that is rooted in integrity and maturity. There's responsibility here uh, in place. Um, so another thing with this Venus in Taurus, which is being illuminated, which is your body, is your physical body. What, how do you take care of yourself that brings quality into your life and how can you improve the way that you are taking care of yourself and taking care of your body in order to give you the energy and the stamina that you need in order to take the action in your life in order to build whatever it is that you're building in your life you need the energy you need the health you need your well-being right so what is it that you need? Again, the structures with Saturn and Capricorn, Mars and Capricorn, the structures, the foundation that you need in your life in order to support who truly that you are and in order to support what is it that you need to build in your life that is quality based. So we need a quality foundation for quality things, quality relationships, your finances, your projects, your work, your body. All of that needs to be rooted in quality, so we need a quality foundation. What is the foundation for you? So this full moon is illuminating and, and maybe bringing some, like I said, tension and tug of war, compelling us to take the action that we need to take in order to change whatever needs to change or strengthen whatever needs to strengthen. Um, so it's, it's such a powerful full moon and the day after Mars is going to conjunct Saturn exactly at 8 degrees Capricorn while the Sun is conjuncting Mercury, which is in retrograde, at 11 degrees Aries. So there's a square there as well. Not exact, but Sun conjunct Mercury retrograde, squaring Mars and Saturn in Capricorn. Holy tamole! So everything that I was talking about, and with Mercury in retrograde, evaluating, re-evaluating, what is this identity? Who are you? Who are you? Where do you need to slow down? Where do you feel limited in your life and why? And what is the action that you need to take, the action that needs to be taken and act upon in order to remove those limitations? Again, Venus reminding us how to find more harmony, balance, and beauty in life okay so whatever the actions that you need to take in order to bring more of that sense of security and the sense of balance and the sense of harmony uh, that will be illuminated that will be illuminated 
And all of that is happening while Chiron is entering the last degrees of Pisces, 29 degrees, and that is very, 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 very significant. And Chiron is getting ready to move into Aries next month, which is going to be a big event. But right at the last degrees of Pisces, and I mentioned that last report two weeks ago because we still feel the effects of Chiron finishing in Pisces with all this very intense potent energy with Mars and Saturn and Sun and Aries and Mercury retrograding in Aries. Oh, and there's deflation. Again, all the insecurities and the last little bits of that. And where do you feel that your life is like, oh my God, it's just not working. Chiron in the last degrees of Pisces and all the unconscious stuff that need to be healed and need to come up to the surface. And the full moon is always a great opportunity to illuminate everything that is still underneath the surface that is calling for your attention. I want to encourage you to bring your attention to it, to not hide from it. Mercury in retrograde in Aries, there's courage there, okay? There's courage to face the things that maybe you haven't been willing or wanting to face. So this is your time right now. As when Chiron is going to move into Aries, we are going to begin a new cycle. So important to complete everything that needs to be completed right as we are approaching the end of this cycle, um, allowing you the space in your life to take the action that you need to take without feeling any sense of restriction or limitation that, that, is, up, that, is, that is coming from within yourself. Um, yeah, so a lot is happening right now and I'm definitely sending you lots of, lots of love and light on your journey there because I know it hasn't been as easy uh, the last few days, this, this, this past week. Um, so just bear with, with yourself. Again, compassion. Um, Chiron in Pisces there reminding us to be compassionate with ourselves, especially as we go through different stages of our healing journey and our own evolution. So be gentle with yourself. Be compassionate. Again, slow down. If you try to push too hard right now, it's just going to push harder against you. And that's the Saturn in Capricorn um, that is really going to be in your face. So yeah, sending you lots of love. I want to invite you to uh, my webinar that I'm doing on the 4th of April, which is next Wednesday, based on my book, Master Your Life with Love. Uh, please find the link down below where you can sign up for the web webinar. It's a free webinar, 75 minutes, 75, 90 minutes, depending on how many questions we're going to have and showing you how to cultivate the most loving and extraordinary relationship with yourself. What are the practical action steps that you can take in your life in order to cultivate more of that love and therefore eliminate things like depression, anxiety, really understanding the root cause of those things, toxic patterns in your life and how to step into a more empowered version of yourself by stepping into a more loving version of yourself. So join me for uh, that webinar next Wednesday. Find the information down below. If you're liking this video, then please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment and most importantly, share this video with other people as well. I so, so appreciate that. You can check out my website noalakshmi.com if you're interested in a personal reading with me and other form of one-on-one -on -one personal work that I offer. So check it out. And again, sending you so much love, so much light. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Happy full moon and stay awesome. Stay beautiful because you are. Satnam.